Okay, good evening, councillors, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cabinet meeting of the 16th of March 2023. So we'll go straight in with apologies for absence. I believe everybody is here. Um, minutes of the previous meeting. You all wish I sign those as true record? That's proposed by Councillor Clements, seconded by Councillor Farrell. All those in favour? That's carried. Thank you very much. Uh, item three, declarations of interest. Does anybody have any interest to declare? No. Nope. Okay, so moving straight on to item four, question time. Uh, we do not have any questions from the public at this cabinet meeting, uh, so that's that agenda item done. Uh, agenda item five, matters referred to cabinet in accordance with overview and scrutiny procedure rules. I've not received any uh, for the cabinet to consider at this meeting. Uh, so we'll move straight on to item six, which is the homelessness strategic update, and that's Councillor Farrell's report. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm sure the whole of Cabinet has read this in its entirety, but I will just give you the highlights. Um, it's uh, an update on our homeless uh, prevention and rough sleeping strategy. Um, we've got updates here on our winter relief response. Uh, big thanks to the heart of Tamworth. Um, they've also uh, helped us with our severe weather protocol that's now been extended uh, into March. Um, it proposes a homelessness hub. Uh, this is £120,000 to support vulnerable people. Um, really important, this also allows face-to-face -face drop ins um, It uh, describes our temporary accommodation policy. Um, uh, the good news from that is bed and breakfast cost uh, used to be uh, £400,000 a year. That's now quartered down to less than uh, £100,000. Because of service improvements, um, we've been able to uh, save significant amounts of money, no costs to the general fund budget. Um, and this has been through health and wellbeing scrutiny twice uh, in November and January. So all the uh, scrutiny comments have been factored in and I'd like to propose those recommendations. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Farrell. Uh, anybody got any questions or comments? Councillor Clements. Yeah, just for my clarification, Councillor Farrell, um, do this, this new strategy will be helping Tamworth residents um, and we're not going to be well, the, the phrase, I suppose, is mopping up another authority's homelessness issue. They are, they are people from Tamworth. Yeah, happy, to Farrell. happy to confirm, uh, Chair, um, that this strategy uh, helps Tamworth residents and um, homelessness uh, people in need from the Tamworth area. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions or comments from Cabinet members? No, in which case you have moved uh, the recommendations to have a seconder. Uh, Councillor Doyle seconds, so all those in favour? That's unanimous, that is carried. Thank you very much. So that brings us on to agenda item seven, which is the exclusion of the press and public. So I move, don't have to read it out. So I move that in accordance with the provisions of the Local Authorities Executive Arrangements Meeting Access and Information Act England Regulation 2012 and Section 100A4 of the Local Government Act 1972, that the press and public be excluded from the meeting during the consideration of the following business on the grounds that it involves the likely disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph 3 of part 1 of Schedule 12A of the Act and the public interest in withholding the information outweighs the public interest in disclosing the information. Councillor Pritchard. Second. Councillor Pritchard seconds. All those in favour? That's carried. Thank you very much. So if the press and public could make an orderly exit from the back of the room. <laughs> 